Right. Elsewhere, a family is grieving after their son and brother, little seven-year-old Jace, was struck and killed by a truck. Jace's family says he clung to life for two days before he died this morning. Our Sarah Welch is live in Colton with the details. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Corrine and Rick. Good evening. Yeah, this cuts deep throughout this community. Members of the community here behind me, you can see right now, they're setting up for this vigil set to take place in about 25 minutes or so. This is at the Colton High School football field, and it's just beyond on G Street where this accident happened, where this little boy was struck. And you can see people gathering here, people setting up, people who knew little Jace, and also those who felt compelled to come out and show their support for his family going through this sudden loss. Let's show you pictures of seven-year-old Jace Board. Family tells us on Thursday, the little boy was getting dropped off for football practice outside the Colton High School football field. He was also helping his family set up a cheering fundraiser his aunt tells us as he got out of the truck he was riding in and as he crossed the street, another car, his family says, came around and hit him in the road. The little boy died this morning at the hospital. He was a member of the Colton Yellow Jackets Youth Football League and those who knew the little boy say he just loved football. Fellow teammates and parents are here tonight along with players and parents from other teams in the league. Along with those, as we said, who don't even know the family personally, but they're here to celebrate Jace's life and be there for each other during this heartache. It's just hard to deal with. Just I know the family for a long time. My brothers went to school with his mom. So I've seen them grow up and just the whole family is it's heartbreaking to, you know, to know that this little seven year old boy got hurt, you know, just going to practice and, you know, it just hurts. And these are some live pictures where you can see folks setting up out on the field where this vigil is set to take place. Now, the family tells us this crash was ruled an accident and that in another sad twist that it was possibly a parent of one of his teammates that may have been the person behind the wheel. We have a call into Colton Police uh, for clarification. And meantime, Rick and Kareen, uh, there is a GoFundMe set up uh, to help this boy's family, and you can find that by going on the KTLA app. We'll, of course, have more from this vigil coming up later this evening. For now, back to you in Hollywood. All right, Sarah, we'll talk to you a bit later on. Thank you for that.